Hello, friends. Today, I wanted to make a um, orange green juice. Okay, it's the rave on social media. Everybody is juicing. So since I have so many sweet potatoes to rid, get rid of other than cooking them, I wanted to see what it tastes like in juice form because they said they juiced it, okay? Also, I seen Darius Cooks. Darius Cooks on social media, you know, the one to be cooking, cooking. Okay, he put honeydew melon in his um, juice drink that he made, though he have a different juicer than this one. He left the skin on it. So a lot of these honeydew melon pieces have skin still left on them. Don't forget to wash your produce, okay? But anyhow, back to what I'm telling you. So he left the skin on his. But what if I left mine on too? Because as you can see, I'm always telling y'all how to cook is never hungry, right? So I peeled it out, whatever, and then I had to taste this part to see how sweet or bitter it is. Still soft and tender. Mm-hmm. So that might, you know, I ain't uh-uh. Mm. The cook is never hungry. Hold on. Okay. So now, let's do a little work. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to turn the juicer on. I'm not going to keep this noise on the whole time we make this video, but I want to show y'all what goes on. The chop down, and if it's cut too big, that's what this is for. Push, 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 right? Let's see what it do to this piece. Mm, that encourage that little piece of... Look at that. The sweet potato got juice, for real. Y'all can't even see it, Lord. It's really coming out. It's wet. Let me make this juice. I'm going to put these little oranges in here. Hold on. Forgot to tell y'all what we putting in this juice. Okay, so we have the hard, dry sweet potatoes. This is celery, four stalks of celery, half of a honeydew melon, skin and all. What I had left of carrots, probably the equivalent of three large carrots, and a lot of baby mandarin oranges. I'm going to put everything through the juicer and pray for a great flavor. And if it don't turn out delicious, I don't know how I'm going to work it out. But anyhow, we, let's get to that part when we get to that part. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and juice everybody, wash the dishes, and then come back and show you how much juice I actually produced. I'll be back. Okay, so far, and we're not even finished, as you can see, we almost have four cups of juice. I'm going to also tell you with this Omega juicer that I have, in my opinion, if you do all of the softer, really wet fruit or vegetables first, and then chug something like this side with the skin in it, it's, it's coarse, sweet potatoes are coarse. Celery is in between because you know can you can y'all see this? Let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking. Let me make sure I got some in the kitchen. It's still wet. So therefore, you know, put the softer vegetables in and fruit first. And then finish it off with the carrots, sweet potatoes, things that are a little dry. So I still have oranges here to go. I'm still juicing down here, but I just wanted you all to see. I had to dump the, the bowl down here. So let me finish juicing. We'll be back and sample. So, y'all see all the pole? Mm-hmm. And this part I get out when I clean the machine. Lots of pulp. This can be used to fertilize your dirt in your garden. Don't trash it. This is compost. Let's not re, let's not waste. And can you see back here? This is roughly another three and a half cups back here. So, look like I made seven cups of juice based off of all of what I cut up. Now, let me see here. Let me show y'all one more thing. And I'm going to pour this stuff. Oh, I got to taste it too, don't I? 
I let y'all know if it's good for the pack. I let see if it's good for the people. See, I like to move it around in this little strainer. This black thing here is a strainer. That's a strainer, okay? So I like to move that last little bit around because there's pulp here that's preventing the last of the juice from going through. Let me show you. Let me show you. Y'all see that? That's pulp, okay? Yes, pulp. I'm not gonna eat that, okay? Now, let me get a, stir them up a bit. It's time to take, this one probably tastes mostly like orange juice because this is the first half of the juicing. This one tastes mostly like carrots. I got to make sure that I mix them together thoroughly. So it can be an even, you know, flavor. Oh yes, oh yes. My orange green juice coming through. It better be good, bro. Okay. I'm gonna taste it like this, but I need to pour it into a larger container so I can make sure everybody's all together. Orange green juice. I don't want to taste that sweet potato. Y'all see this thing? Can y'all see this mess back here? He's still leaking. I mean, I'm wasting juice, Jesus. Put that back under there. I'm going to let that drip while I find something to mix everybody all together and pour these babies up. Hang tight. Okay. So I decided to pour into my orange and green. This is an orange green drink. <laughs> okay. Don't forget your funnel. Mm -hmm. Gasket. That's to stop you from leaking everywhere, y'all. Make sure you get that, right? Don't let him come out. Okay. I'm gonna open him up. We're gonna put the funnel there. Wish me luck. Usually sometimes this juice be doing what it wanna do coming out of him first. Let me do it like this. Oh yes. Slow and easy. Oh yes. We got juice. I might need three balloons. Okay. I want to say these bottles were 16 ounce. Woo. Okay. And I'm not feeling them all the way because I still have that carrot juice back there to put in here, right? I want to get the taste as even as possible. I'm going to pour it in here. Forget the dumb stuff. Ooh, we, I think this is three bottles of juice, y'all. I'm going to have to drink some tonight with dinner. Ooh, wish me luck. I'm going to put some ice on it, too. Got me messed up. I won't be drinking no room tempted juice. Let me stir it up. Hold on. Yeah, let me stir it up. Mm -hmm. Stir him up. Now, I listen. I looked in my refrigerator. And I have some mint leaves. I was thinking, I wonder if I could juice those in a little small piece of ginger. And no, don't do it. I'll just do it for the night. I'll let y'all know later how it tastes. How about that? Beautiful. Because I got to drink some of this juice tonight. Because I, the greedy spirit I be telling y'all about. Oh, yes. These are refrigerator friendly, right? So I'm going to put the lids on them and put them in the refrigerator. They're, they should be good for three days. But I'm going to drink one in the morning. And then I'll drink the other either the next morning, which is Saturday morning, market day. That's probably when I'll drink that. That's why I'll do that. I'll drink one in the morning for work and one for market day. I don't even know what I'm eating for breakfast. I don't even know nothing. Matt, girl, get yourself together. But I'm going to drink this part tonight with dinner. 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and put those mint leaves and a little piece of ginger in this. Y'all think that would be wise? Most people drink these juices during the day. I better not drink that. I'm going to drink my water with them. But anyhow, y'all see how we made that orange green juice? Toodles.